Hey, 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 y'all, my Leos. Welcome to your August 2018 Love Romance reading. This reading is for anyone who is involved in a romantic relationship, a romantic situationship. And this is for mid August. Okay, so mid August until the end of August. I can't believe that we are already damn near halfway through the month. Like, if time don't fly by, I don't know what, what it does. Seriously, like crazy so leo i'm excited to see what's gonna pop up you know what's gonna be showing up in this reading because my moon sign is leo so it'll be interesting to see whether or not it reflects if it resonates all right spirit what's to come from my leo's are involved in romantic situationships and relationships, marriages. This is a past, present, future reading and overall energy reading as well. I'll explain the reading as I go for anyone who's new. Okay. For those of you who are new, my name is Chirica. You can also call me, call me Dark Moliva. If you would like to order a reading, my website is listed down below, okay? If you have an iPhone and you would like to connect with me, you can contact me on Instant Go, all right? And the link to that is listed below as well. I do provide products, services, and readings. So check out my website, and you can connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. Okay, Leo, you already have some cards that are kind of popping up. For some reason, I feel like somebody from your past is coming in, but you're avoiding this person from your past. It could be someone that you're dealing with currently, someone you're in a relationship with, but I'm definitely getting some past lover type energy, someone from the past trying to come back in that you're avoiding. Or it could be the opposite way around. You may be dealing with someone that's avoiding you, okay? Okay, so I'm seeing that some of you guys are involved with air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Others of you are dealing with water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that I'm feeling some past energy. Someone from the past trying to come back in. Someone trying to reconcile. Um, it's either you, Leo, that's avoiding this person that's trying to make make up for whatever it, mistake it was that they made, or it could be this person that's avoiding you for whatever mistake it was that you made. Um, for some of you, it may be someone outside of your relationship that's trying to come back in, and you've been avoiding this person from interfering in your relationship. Okay, so the overall relationship, right, at the, the overall energy right now uh, we have the Two of Cups and the Sacrifice card. So what I'm sensing here is that someone is trying to make changes. Someone is trying to better themselves. Someone is trying to better themselves for the relationship. Someone is trying to um, make changes for the better, okay? I do feel like there's some type of um, reconciliation that's going on. And this could also represent strong unionship in your relationship, you know, um, some of you may be pregnant or thinking about becoming pregnant. Maybe your significant other wants you to become pregnant, have a baby, has, you know, maybe you guys have been thinking about having a child. But I definitely feel that the overall energy is that someone has, um, is either given a gift, making some sort of necessary changes or sacrifices to better the relationship here. All right. So in the past, we have the Four of Swords, which represents taking a break. So this person that you're avoiding or that's avoiding you, 
that was recently avoiding you because I feel like this is more so past energy for a lot of you guys that you were avoiding someone or you and your significant other weren't speaking to one another because of some type of animosity. I feel like in the past, you know, there was definitely that energy where you needed to take a break from someone because maybe there was some tension, you know, um, some arguing, maybe some back and forth, going back and forth, some disagreements of some sort that was kind of making you feel like you wanted to distance yourself from your partner, okay? For some of you, the, the feeling that I'm getting here as well is that you were in a relationship and you took a break from whoever it was that you were dealing with and now you're in a totally new situation, all right? Let's go ahead and get a little bit more insight in regards to what's going on here. Spirit, give me some clarification in regards to the sacrifice card, the nine of staves, and the four of swords for my Leos. I'm seeing some earth energy as well. Somebody has come back together with an earth sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. There have been issues and challenges within the relationship with the earth sign. It seems like um, this earth sign sometimes like they give you a headache. I feel like the communication can be difficult from time to time, but I feel that there's been some sort of unionship reconciliation or there'll be some reconciliation with an earth sign. Yeah, so definitely in the past there was some indecision there was some indecision about someone that was in your life or someone from your past. Um, you had to make a choice or you had to take a break in order to get your mind together, in order to make a decision in regards to your um, whatever romantic situation it was that you were dealing with in the past or that you're currently dealing with. Um, someone was avoiding you. I definitely feel like, Leo, that this is your energy, that you were avoiding someone because it's been like a vicious cycle of you know issues with whoever it is it was that you're dealing with or are dealing with. You had your guards up, or this person that you're dealing with had their guards up due to repetitive issues and a lack of change. Yeah, definitely some mood swings. Someone is wanting a break free from a relationship where they feel like um, it's been a vicious cycles of highs and lows in the relationship and they're kind of getting tired of the repetitive issues that continue to come up in the relationship. And um, for some of you, I get this feeling that you are in a relationship. A lot of you guys are in a solid relationship with someone, but you're wanting this person to make a the, the needed changes in order for the relationship to be what it is that you expect it to be, okay? You may be dealing with someone that has some type of drug addictions or some sort of addictions or issues. And all the although the relationship between the two of you guys is going well, or it goes well the majority of the time, whatever issue it is that they're dealing with seems to kind of make you kind of draw back a little bit, make you want to take a break, make you kind of feel a little indecisive. There's definitely some, some needed change in the relationship. Some sacrifices that need to be made in order to come back into a unionship. Some of you guys are indecisive in regards to a relationship. Um, someone may be wanting to get back with you or come back into a union ship, but you're unsure and you may be telling this person, look, this is what you need to do in order to, you know, in order for us to move forward, in order for us to get married, in order for us to be happy. This is what you need to do. This, 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 and this. Okay. That's the feeling that I get for a lot of you guys is that. You were indecisive in the past and now you're letting it be known how it is that you feel. 
and what changes need to be made in order for the relationship to be all that you want it to be, Leo, okay? So I am in the now, I'm seeing a love offer. I am seeing a love offer from a water sign. It could be, you know, this could also represent you as a princess of cups, you know, you being a little bit more emotional or in, in, in your feelings. This could also be you making a love offer to your partner. But for some reason, I definitely feel like this is someone that's coming in that's making a love offer to you, Leo. Okay. So give me some clarification for the princess of cups here. Two cards. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing new beginnings with a water sign. New beginnings. It seems like there's communication. In the past, there was a lack of communication. You had to kind of withdraw from your partner or this person from your past. And now, this person has made a love offer to you. There's been some communication between the two of you. You're trying to work out your issues and your problems. There seems to be some balance that's coming in between you and your significant other. All right, it seems like um, maybe you or your partner has come up with a new idea. Um, I'm seeing like passion. There may have been like some makeup sex or something like that that kind of like smooth things over. But that's what I'm sensing in the here and now is that there has definitely been some sort of reconciliation between you and your significant other, Leo. For some of you, you're thinking about giving in to this love offer, but you may be holding back because your subconscious mind is telling you, your intuition is telling you that, um, you know, to hold back until, you know, this person makes the needed sacrifices and changes in order for the relationship to be what it is that your heart desires. You know, so this is something that you're thinking in your mind. You're not really for sure whether or not you want to make these changes or you're unsure whether or not your significant other is going to make the changes that you want them to make. All right. And that's what's currently going on. That's the overall energy now. But now we're going to kind of tap into the future. I do see a gathering for some of you guys. Um, for others of you, there may be a three-party situation but I feel like this is more so a gathering, maybe traveling somewhere, getting together, drinks, partying. Um, you and your, your significant other, you may be surrounded by family members, friends, loved ones. Okay. Okay, so be aware, be aware of this, um, Leo. I do see a gathering. There may be some talk about traveling somewhere or doing something together with your significant other. And I'm seeing air energy here. So this may be with an air sign that I seen earlier. Um, this may be communication with this person that's an air sign from your past. Maybe you're reuniting with this person. But I do see unionship here with someone and communication that's coming in, a gathering, a meeting, going out on a date. That's what I'm seeing in the future. However, I do feel that there is going to be some communication issues. Um, I see some arguments that has, you know, some strong arguments, some strong disagreements that's going to be coming in in regards to money, finances. Okay. Or even a child, because we have a page of pentacles. A child that might be an earth sign. Okay. But I'm definitely seeing some indecision at first. Some confusion in regards to whether or not one should be single. Or if one should continue to fight for the relationship and move forward from whatever you know, issues there were that, sur that surfaced in the past. But I see, you know, a possible pregnancy. 
There's definitely a pregnancy here. Yep, that fighting is showing up again. There it is again. I feel like there's going to be a gathering or, you know, maybe you and your partner go to the club. Maybe your significant other is talking to someone else, communicating with someone else. Maybe you find out about a three-party situation that may be going on. It creates some issue because de there's definitely in the future, and I feel like this is more so towards September, the beginning of September, um, that this is going to be taking place. You're, some of you guys are dealing with a three, you're in a three-party situation here, and this is what's, um, what you're going to find out about. For others of you, you and your partner are coming together. Um, another thing that I feel is that someone is going to be going to a party and may be communicating with an, an air sign outside of the relationship and um, your partner may find out about this and this may cause some issues here, some arguments. The other thing that I'm sensing is that you're going to, again, be coming together with your partner going out somewhere like a club, a gathering with friends, and there's going to be some sort of issues that surface. Okay? But I do see reconciliation for August. I see a pregnancy here. But I see things balancing out and you moving forward with this person, this water sign. It could be any sign. But I do feel like right now the overall energy is that you will, or from the from August the 15th until the end of the month, that there's going to be reconciliation between you and someone else here. You and whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you're in a romantic situation. I see reconciliation and unionship. We have justice, we have the movement card, we have the Ten of Cups, and then we have the Four of Cups. This is unionship, this is reconciliation. This is to get coming together and building as one, okay? Let's go ahead and get some spiritual guidance in regards to your reading, Leo. Okay, so the first card here that we have, it says you are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. So clearly I'm seeing that somebody's in a situation that's like a vicious cycle. You have to know that you're powerful, Leo. You are the lion, okay? You are the lion. You are Sekhmet. You're a bastet. You are powerful. Always remember that. Remember that you're limitless. Whatever obstacles may be standing in front of you, in front of your relationship or in front of you anything that's hindering you or holding you back from being happy you have to know that you have the strength and the power within to overcome these things all right and you can do whatever it is that you want to do if you're not completely or totally happy in your relationship and that's something that you want to do start manifesting start calling on the universe and the ancestors to bring to you what it is that your heart desires okay Take the necessary steps to, to claim what it is that you deserve. All right. Spirit, please give me those. There goes your card. All right. So your second card, it says, Dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. Isn't that what I just said? It's so crazy how like a card will pop out the deck and it'll completely resonate with everything that I said prior to actually reading the card, the spiritual guidance. So again, it says, dear you, you are in such good shape right now that we're all doing a happy dance. In this moment, you have the power to make a choice to get with spirit and co-create a miracle. You may wonder where this is all going, but if you want to manifest your desires for the highest good, you need to stay focused on the now. All power is in the present moment. Ask yourself, what are you what what are you dominant? What are your dominant thoughts right now? Okay? What beliefs are you motivated by? Do you have clarity right now? How is your conscious contact with the divine? Are you plugged in or are you trying to do life all by your small self? Get rid of negative energy now. Resentments be gone. Forgiveness and love enter, please. 
You can do your life beautifully and create your most powerful future right here, right now in this moment. Aren't you thrilled to know you have a huge cheering section over here? Love and hugs always. So that's what I was saying, you're limitless. It all resonates, both cards resonate. You're limitless, spirit is still talking here and even in this, this deck that you're limitless, you're powerful, you can do whatever it is that you choose to do. You just have to put your mind to it, okay? You have to claim happiness, you have to claim it, okay? Whatever it is, whatever energy it is that you send into the universe and whatever it is that you're hoping for, you're wishing for, you're burning candles for, you have to imagine that coming into fruition. All right, so that is your reading, Leo. I hope that it could help you. I hope that you enjoyed. Stay tuned because I'll be coming with you guys' central bedroom reading as well pretty soon. So stay blessed. Ashay.